this recipe is sure to be a family favorite in no time. Plus, it's a way to use your sourdough starter for something a little bit different. I am so thrilled to have Mel Gunnell of Mel's Kitchen Cafe here in studio with us. Her recipes have become our go-to over the last many years, and today she's sharing her recipe for homemade sourdough pumpkin muffins. I'm like tickled. I'm just thrilled to have You're you here. You're so cute, Brooke. Thank I go you. to your website more than you want to know. <laughs> you probably see me. Clack, no, clack, I don't clack. know. I don't know what's here. Here's you. what I love about you. Mel, though, and I'm just going to embarrass you for a second. Okay, we great. first met many years ago at a mm. women's retreat, and it was one of those moments where the room was buzzing and it was really crowded. Women I love and admire, but everyone had someone. Everyone was right. talking, and I made eye contact with you. We hadn't met before. Mm. I mean, I was one of your many stalkers for sure, but she immediately like scooted over and patted the seat next to her. No, I needed you as much I as needed you, you needed me. And I, I was, we that was like cuddle a puddle. And I stuck by her the whole weekend and I just love you dearly no, for that. Like in that moment that said who you were, that you were finding the girl in the room who was a little lost and saying, come sit by me. Oh, you're sweet, Brooke, because really I think that was more about <laughs> no, you rescuing no. me. <laughs> and I've celebrated you over the years, your success. We were just talking about it. It's not about the clicks for you. It's not about the number of followers, though I think we're passing 100,000. But you really, I, I have to imagine, it, it feels so good to have people all over the world making your food, sharing your food, circling around the table with these recipes that you're putting out there. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it feels like, is this really real? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm just living my life. I'm just making the food yeah. I love and yeah. posting it. But that validation means a lot to me. When I hear from people that this is, these recipes are making a difference. And yeah. like you said, it's bringing their families together. Yes. Like it's something that is impacting them for good. It's not just me making your recipes. I mean, I think a woman named Jennifer Gardner gave you a huge Wait, shout my out. my BFF Jen? Your BFF yes. Jen. A couple years ago, we were like shaking our pom-poms like, Jennifer Gardner knows how great Mel is. She, she loves you. Well, I love her. And I actually think she might be one of those celebrities that's as awesome in real life as you she guys really have a, appears. You have a thing. We do message you, sometimes. You chat back and forth. Yeah, we do message. She is very, very genuine and sweet. And I have to pretend that maybe it's not her virtual assistant responding to me, <laughs> well, but it's actually her. It's a darn so. good virtual assistant, if so, because we all love her, and I love that she knows and loves your heart as well. She's amazing. Praise for your kids on, on missions yeah, and just extends really... her heart to your home. That's but when she But when she made that recipe, I about fell over. I My phone was blowing up of like... It was bagels, see, right? It was like bagel bread. Yeah. And, and people were messaging me like, did you see Jennifer Garner? And I was like, I could not believe it. It was like this alternate sense of reality. And then I realized she's just a real person. Yeah, you know what I mean? She's a mom making yeah, bagels like for her family are. too. Yeah. All right, today it's not bagels, yeah, it's not muffins. Bagels. And tell me why this recipe is, is so unique. Okay, this recipe is unique because we're using sourdough starter. And we're using the discard of sourdough starter. So sourdough starter is all the rage. People are making everything with sourdough starter. I subscribe to the lazy girl way of sourdough starter, which is <laughs> not to baby it. So I'm not okay. out making those like beautiful picturesque loaves, which I think are amazing. And yes, people yes. have the talent to do that. But I use my sourdough starter to do other baked goods like waffles and muffins. And while it doesn't give maybe the same tangy flavor, the texture is otherworldly. Like it lends the fluffiest texture to baked goods, which is why these pumpkin muffins are like the best pumpkin muffins oh you'll ever have. Oh my goodness, so good. show us, They're so good. Us. I will be okay. making these. Yeah, so me really and Jennifer simple. will be making yeah. these. Are you, mm -hmm. yeah. Jen, mm -hmm. our, our BFF yeah, Jen. Yeah, I'll okay. just slide right into that. So this is a really basic muffin recipe. It just starts with these wet ingredients. We're going to add one can of pumpkin. I okay. don't want to use the pumpkin pie filling. And then this is our sourdough starter. And this is just discard that I took straight out of my fridge. So, you know, with sourdough starter, you can either feed it mm -hmm. and then it's going to be ripe and bubbly. And that's really great if you want it to be like yeast in a recipe of okay. bread and yeah. you want it to rise. But we're just going to use the discard. We don't have to worry about it. No, nope, we bubbly. don't have to worry about it. We're going to add. I get kind of itchy when we talk about sourdough starter. I don't know why. Just, just the vocabulary of feeding it, bubbling. Yeah. It's kind of it's a kind weird of, well, science. It's like a live thing, it's right? A, it's a creature yeah. in your refrigerator, basically. No, people basically. name theirs, Brooke. No, do they you know? do Oh, not. they sure do. I haven't named my sourdough starter, but I probably, ask, like people. Ask Jen what she names her I, I probably know. know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna mix this up and we're gonna add some vanilla and I always just measure vanilla with my because heart. Because you can look at you, with your heart. Mm. I she do, you just measure with your, with your heart. heart. It's the only way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we just mix this up until it just looks like muffin batter. Do you wanna mix? I me while I grab this and then we're gonna add our dry ingredients and because okay. I am lazy I don't whisk these together separately we're just gonna add these all in listen if that's a step we can skip in Absolutely. the kitchen then why not I mean go already I have a million okay don't mix too oh, much though okay. because 
Stop, Brooke, stop. Death to a really good muffin is over mixing. Okay. We know that, right? We she saw where I was going. She saw my elbow flex and ready just to. Wow, you have a really strong <laughs> stirring reflex. And we don't, this is where I'd like to say I work out, but we both know that's not true. So let me just stir I a little bit. You work Thank out. you, okay. girlfriend. So a little bit. We, yeah, just keep mixing, and we really only okay. want to mix until the dry streaks just barely disappear. Okay. Now, I love to add chocolate chips to these muffins. No, I'm scared. And no, you're doing great. Okay, okay. You're such, doing such a good job. Mel yelled at me. No, I'm just no, kidding. Did I no, you did That was not. like all caps text messages. You're the funniest you're... person to tease because you're the opposite of that. Like, no, your vanilla show. measuring heart is as good as it comes, oh, so there was no you. yelling. So if you want to add chocolate chips to this recipe, the best time to do it is when there's some dry streaks. So you made the call. Are we adding chocolate chips to this or yeah. are we not? Mm -hmm. Okay. For sure. So we're going to add them in now so that we don't overmix the batter. I love having you like be my little minion. I what would, else can I have I you do? I would do this all the this time. So Invite great. me over. I will really? be your muffin. Yes, absolutely. You come out to my little I would, farm in the wilderness. I would love it. Can we play with the pigs? Yeah, we can scratch their bellies. That's and all I want. Muffins. That's all I want out of life. I know. Okay, we can, I'm just going to. Can I Finish just, me yeah, up. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to do the this. Be the pro that you are. And really get those dry, the, all the stuff Somebody from the Somebody told me not to overmix, so I got no. a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you criticizing me? Not at all. <laughs> Never would I dare. Okay, so the great thing about these muffins is that they don't bake for very long. You okay. actually want to air maybe slightly on the side of underbaking. You don't want them doughy, uh -huh. but you want them really moist. Okay. And I just use a cookie scoop mm -hmm. to portion the batter in mm -hmm. to here. I actually think I turned the oven on. That's okay. We're just heating okay. up all over yeah, the we're kitchen. Just... And you topped with some extra chocolate chips, I saw. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to do that, so you, the muffins over here, you can see, like, if you want them to be cute and Pinterest worthy, mm -hmm. you can just put some extra chocolate chips on top. But you'll see these muffins, like, the, I would say that these pumpkin muffins, they dome better than any other muffin because yeah. even though we haven't fed the sourdough starter, because it has that natural yeast in it, it does give a little bit of rise to the muffins, which makes them like picture perfect, Love I it. think. Love yeah. it, I can't wait picture to try perfect. this. Where can we get this recipe and many more from you? So I am melskitchencafe.com, Mel's Kitchen Cafe on Instagram, and all of my recipes are on there. And they are, I would say, most of my recipes are really user friendly. They and are family friendly. They're tried. That's true, my goal in but life. But they're winners all around. Yeah. Thank you so much. You just made my day. You don't even know. So good to have you in our kitchen.